Good morning. Hi, kitties. We're vlogging today. I haven't done anything except make myself a cold brew. So right now I'm feeding the cats. Step one of the day. My cats actually get smart water because my mom says that it's good to give them bottled water. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of water. Just a little bit though, because they don't need a lot. You guys can be thirsty, it's okay. I'm just kidding. That is not something to joke about. My favorite part of the day is when I get to look eye to eye with this. We're gonna make breakfast, because recently I've been on my breakfast shit. Okay, so here's the thing. I have one avocado left, and if this avocado is rotten, I'm gonna be super upset, because I don't like to eat my breakfast without avocado. Oh, thank God. Best day ever. I'm trying to also cut my avocado like chefs do. You know, they go like this, they're like, But when I do it, it's just like not as good. I woke up this morning with a headache, and I don't know what's up with that. Nothing a little coffee can't fix. I didn't fuck around with the cold brew this morning. Recently, I've been making these really good breakfast burrito, breakfast tacos. Yes, I'm a cooking channel. Yes, I do the cooking. Oh wait, I can't. Fuck, that would, see like, it's just such a bummer that I just can't sing, I can't like, fully be myself because there's always a risk of being copyrighted in everything that I do. We have some spicy habanero salsa. We have vegetarian sausage. We have some vegan Colby Jack shreds. We have two eggs. We have almond flour tortilla. And let's get right on into it. Funny story. Well, actually not that funny. I'm literally having a barbecue on Friday, which is tomorrow, with what, three or four people because pandemic and also because I they're the only people I we only see each other. I'm throwing a barbecue. Listen, the word throwing should be taken lightly. There will be literally three to four people, including me. I decided to throw like an entire barbecue, mini barbecue, just so that I'd have an excuse to make a cheese board. So today we definitely need to go to the store and figure out what's going on this cheese board. I just don't know where to get the ingredients. Like I'm kind of feeling like Trader Joe's might be the vibe. If you want to know what I'm doing right now, I'm taking half of these vegan sausage link, cutting it up, and I'm starting to sizzle it in some olive oil, all right? While this is cooking, I'm actually gonna see what ingredients I have for this cheese board already, because I feel like I already have stuff from the last time I made a cheese board, so like I can like kind of narrow down what I need. Okay, do have ap apricots, so this is good. Cashews, let's see if these are still good. Yeah, oh my god, I still have honeycomb. Fun. Okay. Okay, I still have these Acmac crackers and these breadsticks, which I feel like these are definitely rotten. They're a little bit stale. And I burned my sausage. Do you know what? It's okay though, it'll still taste good. Crack the egg in. Okay, then you like mix it up. Season with salt and pepper. Add a little bit more oil. Put your tortilla in the toaster oven. Is that a good idea? I don't know, but I do that. Now I'm gonna assemble my breakfast taco. Taking my tortilla out. Woo! And I put that in there. Avocado, put that on it. I'm gonna take some of the salsa. You can't even see it, huh? Put that up. God, that looks fucking good. The vegan cheese ruins the aesthetic of it because it looks so fucking sad. It's just like, doesn't look like real cheese. And then I put this chili lime seasoning blend from Trader Joe's on it. And check this out. Mm. It's so good. You wanna know, you wanna know how you can tell that I'm having a slightly rough day, this is my coffee cup of the day. This thing is the size of my head. Um, to be completely honest with you, for the next hour while I finish my coffee, I'm going to be making a mood board for my cheese board tomorrow. Literally, I cannot think of a time in my life where I've ever like put effort into something like this. But I'm genuinely excited about it and I'm just gonna run with it because I don't genuinely get excited about things very often, but I'm genuinely excited to make this fucking cheese board for my two friends that probably won't even eat it. But I don't care because it's not about that. It's about the fact that I wanna make it and I'm gonna lay in bed for the next hour and fucking make a mood board for it, okay? Because I'm excited about it and that is okay. See, I like I'm like a novice cheese board maker. Oh, should I get grapes? See, but the thing is about cheese boards is that nobody actually eats what's on it. Like people eat literally one third of what's on it. I'm gonna keep looking. Grocery shopping is gonna be fun, but I just got a very exciting package 
from the sponsor of today's video, which is ThreadUp. Thank you, ThreadUp, for sponsoring this video. ThreadUp is the largest online thrift store and they have literally everything you can imagine. All of your favorite stores. Like, they have Urban Outfitters, Levi's, Louis Vuitton, Gap. This is actually from ThreadUp. Not only that, but I literally got this for $14.99 and the estimated retail price of it was $50. So that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. You can get things for literally 90% off the estimated retail on ThreadUp. It's incredible. And thrifting is sustainable. It's a win-win. Anyway, I'm gonna get into my haul of what I got from them because I got some really good stuff and I'm very excited and I wanna show you. Oh, I have to try all this on. Hold on. First thing I got was this. It's from City Silk and it was estimated to be $10.99. I got it for $9.99. Next, I got this very cute fitted polo from Ralph Lauren and I paid $17.99 for this. And guess what the estimated retail price would have been? $89. That's an 83% decrease in price. I also got these cowboy boots. I've been wanting cowboy boots for so long and I literally found the perfect red pair. They're from the brand Old Gringo. Like, are you kidding? I mean, okay, don't look at this outfit. Like, this is not how I would style it. I would style this with jeans and like a sweater. I got these for $160.99 and they were originally $450 estimated retail value. I also got this super cute Gap button up. Um, my cats are having a lot of fun with the wrapping paper, so that's a good perk. I paid $11.99 for this on ThreadUp, but the estimated retail price was $13.99. And the last thing I got was this very cute Ralph Lauren sweater that I paid $42.99 for on ThreadUp, and the estimated retail price of this was $179! A discount! Anyway, um, if you wanna shop on ThreadUp, you can use my code Emma for 30% off your first purchase. If you use the link in my description, and use the code Emma, which is my name. Thank you, ThreadUp, for sponsoring this video. I love you guys a lot, and I love what you're doing, and I love thrifting, and so you know that I love you guys. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed to go to the store. I mean, we're only going to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Carrie, I'm gonna get, see, I'm gonna get fucking copyrighted. Um, anyway, I'm wearing sweatpants right now, but I think we're gonna do a little denim short moment. I'm gonna wear this hoodie, though, because I'm not, I don't wanna take it off. You know when sometimes you, like, wake up in your PJs, and you're like, I'm just gonna keep wearing the PJs. I also need, oh my God, I know what else we need to do today. Okay, so we're preparing for cheese board. We also need to pick out my Halloween costume because I have no idea what I'm gonna be for Halloween. I will just be inside the whole time for obvious reasons, but I still wanna have a costume so that I can take an Instagram photo and post it. I think I wanna use the cowboy boots that I just got because I feel like those would be cute for like a costume, but then also for like day-to-day -day life with jeans. But I do kinda wanna make a costume out of them. So we'll pick that out later. All right. And I don't wanna buy anything. I refuse to buy anything because I'm trying to be thoughtful with my money. This is so big that I can't fit it in my, I can't, oh, I made a mess. Also my car key broke. Today's just one of those days, you know what I mean? I'm also kind of mortified that I'm like dedicating my entire day to preparing for this fucking cheese board. There's also not a lot of things to do. Like I went to go run errands the other day and everything that I went to was closed. Like I went to this like, I like glass store so that I could get new reading glasses because my I have astigmatism. I don't even know what that means. Alas, the store was closed and then I went to go get my nails done and then the nail salon was closed too and I was like, guys, why are we closed? Even though it said it was open online. But I also feel like I'm, I'm at a phase in my life right now where I'm like, I'm aging up and like I'm starting to enjoy the finer things in life, like a cheese board. So I am growing up which is cool. Like I also enjoy the flavor of like a very rich aged cheese, but I've always been that way. Like I've always liked a nice aged cheddar. There's a lot to be said for the type of cheese that people like and like how that relates to their personality. You know that somebody is smart and artistic when they're choosing the aged cheddar or the smoked Gouda. Brie, like a soft brie or like any kind of soft cheese is somebody who just says yes to everything. I'm offending my friend Olivia right now, but she also, she does say yes to everything, but she loves the brie. And she's just like so like chill and easy going. She'll just do anything. And then there's the people that like use the, the fucking fruit pres preserve on the cheese board. People who use that when they're making like a little cheese and cracker, they think that they are the smartest person on this planet and definitely the smartest person in the room. They like will use one big word that they literally saw on like their Instagram explore page. They're so obsessed with being different and they're the type of person that like thinks everything is an aesthetic. It's like, shut up. I don't think I've ever been more excited to do a haul than I am right now. Like 
mini cheese board haul. Oh my God, there's no line. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my God, and the parking is free. Today isn't so bad after all. So we're gonna go in. Um, mental list here, mental list. I'm thinking grapes, che more cheese and crackers, obviously. Rosemary, we'll see. Wish me luck. Y'all want a cheese haul? Come on, admit it. So I got these, this is like a fucking cop out. Some people don't like a good hearty cheese. Some people like the pre-sliced shit and like this one looked fine so I got it. I got grapes in all different colors. Listen, I just wanna post it on my Instagram. That's why I'm making it good. I think that's really deep down why I'm excited. It has nothing to do with like, you know, doing something nice for my friends or anything. It's pretty much all about me. I got rosemary because that's just like a beautiful, beautiful, decoration these parmesan crisps because these look very elegant cheese sticks that are twisty because they're also pretty but also i know that people love to eat these we have a brie for my friend olivia she said that if i didn't get brie for her she would call the police i also got a dutch gouda this soft cheese my personal favorite cheese which is the irish dubliner cheese i used to eat this on everything as a kid and it just is really good cheese has a lot of protein and then i got this assorted crackers because you just can't go wrong with this and then last but not least i did also get some everything about the bagel seasoning this is unrelated this is just something that every time i go i have to buy it i do need to get this stuff in the fridge because if it all goes bad, then what's the point of all of it? If I like serve a cheese platter tomorrow and all the cheese is like rotten. Does that even happen though? Because cheese like, I don't think cheese rots because it's like mold itself. I just spent the last hour and a half trying to figure out what I was gonna be for Halloween. I just got a bunch of new clothes. So like I don't need to go out and get anything. So here's my, I, I made a, a presentation for you guys of my ideas. Number one, a 1960s runway model. I am much too short to be an actual model, but I love the style of 1960s runways. Next, 1960s through 80s tennis player. I was a tennis player in high school, but I think I could do it better now. Next. And Wild West traditional cowgirl. And then last but not least, the makeup, that's the kicker. So like a zombie version of any of those things. So we need to start picking out these outfits. I'm gonna try on all of these things and then like we'll decide which one fits the best for me. The first outfit is the 60s runway model. Easily this piece, which I talked about earlier from Thread Up. This is just perfect for that. Then we need a skirt, I feel like of some sort, maybe. Right? And then maybe we do like a headband, like a plain white headband. And as for shoes, maybe this. Okay, wait. What if I did this dress with these boots? I don't even know if this is the right era. The green jacket over top. And then the white headband. That could be kind of cool. Next, we need to pick out the tennis player. I know I'm gonna like this one the best. Tennis skirt, whatever. White collared shirt. I have that right here. Done. Easy. Hold on, hold your horses. This would be so perfect. Where is it? Mm. Oh my God, I found it. Are you kidding me? One of these tied around my neck from Thread Up. Oh, look at these. And then like these sort of tennessee y kind of shoes. And then last but not least, Wild Wild West cowgirl. This is incredible. Look at that buckle-y thing. And then the sides have that. That's perfect. We'll take a bandana and tie this around my neck or something, or maybe, maybe around my, well, I like neck. And then the cowboy boots, of course. So that completes that one. All right, let's try them on. I like it, but I don't know. Like, I feel like it is cute, but I feel like I need a cowboy hat and I don't have one. I don't think I'm gonna do this one. Oh wait, I forgot the headband. This one is very cute and is definitely a contender. Is this even Halloween? But at the same time, like the makeup will take it up a notch. I like this one better than the first one. So this one definitely might end up being the one. This is what I'm talking about. I like it, I fuck with it. And I think it's actually a good outfit too. Like this jacket is fucking amazing. I'm so obsessed with it. I can't believe that this was $10.
I'm obsessed. I'm fucking obsessed with this. Okay, I did not expect this to go so well. Let's see if we can turn me into a zombie real quick. Cause my idea is now that I'm thinking about it, it's like I wear these glasses and I look normal and then I take them off and I have zombie eyes. Cool. Maybe I do like Halloween. Thank you, James. Using your palette, no sponsor there. That's just. Just me being a homie. Cause James, I know you're probably, you probably need me to shout out your palette so bad, so. I'm not gonna look at any photos. I'm just gonna wing it. Let's start out with like this reddish. Put that around my eyes. Oh, that's really good. That's a good base of like not looking so good eyes. <laughs> like definitely look like I got punched in the face, which is a good start. Let's really chisel my, my cheekbones with like a dark color. Maybe we use like purple and brown. Cool. Wait, maybe, I, see, I think I might actually be better at costume makeup than like actual makeup because you don't have to be as like particular about it because it's literally not like a real, it's not like a real, you're not actually, do you know what I'm saying? So I think we need to add some purple to the eyes. Purple in my crease. I'm having fun. Actually, this looks fucking fire. It's kind of good. Why is it good? Okay, I'm gonna take some red now. Yeah, like around the edge. Let me, what if I added red like, oh, like added some red like, Around my mouth. Oh, cool. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's add some more brown. I feel like we, are, we need more brown. That was maybe too much. Sometimes when it's not broken, you don't fix it. You know what I mean? Oh no, that's kind of cool. Okay, I think I'm done. No, I need lip. I need a lip product. Like a dark matte lip. Or what if I did like a bright red lip? No, I'll do a dark red lip. I mean, dark nude. Oh, I hate that color. And that just did kind of ruin the whole thing. But. Zombie runway model check. Have you ever seen somebody fucking do this? A 1960s runway model zombie. Y'all have never seen anything like this. Ew, I don't think I did actually a good job now that I'm looking at it in the light. Now I'm gonna go to lay in bed for a few hours. <laughs> Bye. Hi, it's the next day. You're probably wondering, Emmy just disappeared yesterday. Well. <laughs> I found my old cheer uniform, and for the remainder of yesterday, I wore it around the house. But it's a new day, so let's, today's the day of my barbecue. I just popped a blackhead on my forehead. My barbecue's today, woo! And I wasn't gonna film me making this cheese board, but then I realized that I literally, all I talked about yesterday was me making this cheese board, so I feel like it would be weird if I just like, left it at that. Everybody, make sure to wash your hands all the time. Here's the board, but it is a little bit dirty. Oh fuck, I just sprayed the water on everything. Oh, I am wearing pants, by the way. Just I just worked out, so I'm wearing shorts. This is what I like to do. Like, most people like, like some people like the cooking element. Like my friend Olivia is gonna be cooking and grilling because that's what she likes. I don't like that stuff. We have all the cheese. I'm gonna rinse the grapes. Also, yes, I am wearing the same sweatshirt as yesterday because I wear the same sweatshirt for multiple days in a row with no shame. I'm gonna lay out all the cheese and then I'll lay everything else out on around it. First, I feel like we need to lay out the brie because this is the one that my friend Olivia is most excited about. I feel like this should be kind of the centerpiece. Well, actually, I'm gonna put the brie like right here, okay? Gouda. Honestly, I think the reason why I like Gouda is literally because it has this red detail on it always and I just think that that's so pretty. <laughs> Mm. Oh fuck, that's good, huh? Put that like right here. Everybody likes this cheese for some reason. It's always like a big hit. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, it's also so nice because it just like comes like that. Put that one like right here. This is a Dubliner. It's a nice Irish cheese and I'm Irish. So this one can go like right here. I'm gonna be sitting by the fucking cheese board the whole day watching to see who chooses this selection and judging them. Ew, why does it smell bad? It smells like when Declan burps for some reason. This is the people who don't give a fuck about cheese area. What if I make this whole cheese board and no one touches it? Okay, we're gonna start out with our crackers. These are my favorite ones. These are like the whole wheat ones, but they're so good. Okay, cute. They're all fucking broken, who did that? Okay, that's good. Oh my God, they're all broken, which is so not aesthetically pleasing, which is the whole point. Maybe I'll like make a little bowl of crackers is that extra? I'm gonna make a bowl of extra crackers and that's where these will go because they taste really good but they're like all broken and not pretty and I can't have that in my board. God, this is really coming together, huh? Yeah, this, is, this shit's starting to look good, huh? Fuck yeah. I also have this party assortment tray. Cute. Okay, now it's time to make it pretty, right? I think we had some grapes. Okay, we're gonna be like strategic with this. You know what I mean? I'm putting, I'm almost embarrassed at the level of effort I'm putting in 
for like how many people are truly going to be at my home. It's like not a lot. So I got these cheese sticks. Wait, this is starting to look really good. <gasps> oh, I have, oh. Where is it? I thought I had fruit preserves, but I actually don't. Okay, wait, look how fucking cute these are. Hello? Stop. Oh my God. It looks great, but it's like missing some color. I'm gonna add honeycomb, even though like, again, nobody's gonna eat that. It's more just for decoration. See, look, it's like put that right here. That looks beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, now I need to fucking wash my hands again because I have to use my finger. Okay, more honeycomb. It's fucking messy. I could put it like over here. Okay. No, I just like my. Okay, let's do some great. How do we feel about that? Let me leave you in here. Oh, cute. Cute! Ah! I also have Parmesan crisps. Oh yeah, that was a good choice. That was a really good choice. That looks very good. Now I feel like it's time to add some like fillers. It adds to the fucking, wait, are these even good still? I feel like these might be rotten. I guess dried fruit doesn't really go bad. I wonder if like everybody could be good at this though. Like am I like special or anything? <laughs> okay, now I need to add the rosemary and then I feel like I'm done. Finishing touches. <sighs> oh, I killed this shit, yes! Yes! I don't know what to do with it though, because now they're not coming over for another like hour. Wow! <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm literally in love with it. Hey everybody. Okay, two things. I just wanted to give one more special thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. They're the best. I love thrifting. I love online shopping. You get it. Also, you can use my code Emma. E-M-M-A for an extra 30% off your first purchase on ThreadUp. Use that. I mean, talk about a discount. I'm literally in my PJs and I feel so good and comfy in bed. And my TikToker lights. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I know that no one cares, but why am I nervous for people to see my cheese board? I don't know, I'm nervous. It's like giving somebody a gift and like having to see their reaction and like you don't know if they're gonna like the gift. It's like awkward. But anyway, I love you guys a lot and thank you for watching. Cheers. Uh, I need to go shower because I literally am disgusting and stinky right now. Great. Great. It's like every time I bring that shit up, I know that it's just sending me right back down the stinky train. I am right now, so that's fair. Here's your forehead kiss. Yeah, here's another one. Also, I wish you guys were here to try my cheese board. Comment down below if you guys would eat my cheese board if you were here. Okay, bye, I love you. <laughs>